Many of us are concerned about children's compulsion for internet use while doing homework or studying, and wonder whether, as digital natives, they have found the secret to doing both simultaneously. Well, the answer is no. Although children may enjoy or even be addicted to social networking when they're studying, research shows that those who do so generally get lower grades than those who don't. In a fascinating article in Slate magazine, Murphy Paul reports on a study of students who were watched by researchers while they worked. Although they knew they were being observed and were told to work on something important, within two minutes they were texting, phoning, Facebooking and so on. The lead researcher, Larry Rosen, noted that they could not go for 15 minutes without engaging their devices. It was kind of scary. The reality is that the brain cannot do two complex tasks at the same time. Two simple multitasking activities, such as watching television and tweeting, are fine. But when students are tweeting while doing intellectual work, their learning is diminished. This is because technology tasks are mentally complex drawing on the same brain resources as schoolwork. When students try to do both, their work takes longer to complete, they make more mistakes, their learning is shallower, and their memory is impaired. They may think they can do two complex tasks at once. Research shows they can't. The problem, of course, is that technology is not going to go away, so we can't just ban it. What we can do, however, is help children develop their self-control and encourage them to defer their internet activities until after they have completed their academic work. Larry Rosen suggests that effective students start by taking a two-minute tech break after every 15 minutes of focused study to satisfy their technological craving, and then they can gradually expand their uninterrupted work time to 45 minutes or more. Parents can certainly implement this approach when supervising work at home. In school, we do not allow emailing, texting or internet use unless it is part of the classroom learning. We do in fact block sites such as Facebook and Instagram to avoid temptation. Students can however get round our blocks if they have 3G access on their mobile phones, so I encourage parents to consider removing 3G so that our students can only access the internet through the school's wireless connection. By doing this, you can be sure they will not have access to inappropriate sites while at school, so they can focus on their learning. With parents and the school working together, we can ensure that our girls get a strong and consistent message that multitasking hinders their learning, and that self-control is the key to a successful coexistence between learning and social networking. We can help them develop their skill of self-control, but they must execute it. We need to make sure that our children understand how they are compromising their learning and develop strategies to keep both tasks separate.